Two groups, both alike in dignity, in opposing OHS where lie our scene. From an old grudge break to new immunity, a pair of social status crossovers do with their buried death, their group strife, is now the five minute tragic of our stage. I will beat up any girl or boy of the nerd clan. The quarrels between us talks and those nerds. Yeah, dude, they're all the same to me. I will beat up any one of them. Get your fists ready, because here comes one of those nerds. I'll throw my ball at them. <laughs> you throw your ball at me. Yes, I do throw my ball at you, nerd. Do you, you want to fight, you big nerd? Fight you? If you want to fight, then you better be ready to get pounded. All right, guys, let's fight. You crazy students, you disobeying children, did I not tell you to stop this feud, you ignorant adolescents? Unclench your fist and stop fighting. Listen to me. If you ever disturb these hallways again, you will all be expelled. <gasps> After this insane fight in the hallways of OHS, Tom is with Michael and asks him why he is so sad. Why are you so sad, fellow nerd? Well, I love this pretty girl, but she doesn't love me back. Focus on your find another woman. Stop always thinking this inconsequential subject of love. Meanwhile, the all-star quarterback of OHS, Peter, is asking Mr. Jock if he can take Jackie to the prom. Mr. Jock tells Peter that Jackie is too young to be deciding who to go to prom with and he should just chill out until the time comes. But Jackie's best friend, Donna, overhears Mr. Jock and Peter talking about the news. My little athlete, I wanted to talk to you about prom. What do you think about going? Uh, I really wouldn't like that, Mom. Well, think about going to prom now, because there are younger women going to prom, and you're not as young as you used to be. Plus, the great quarterback Peter would really like to go with you. Isn't that great? Why? He's a hunk of a guy. You need to decide soon. Can you go to prom with him? Uh, I'll look at him, see if he's a cool guy, but that'd probably be it. For his daughter to meet Peter, Mr. Jock, there's a party at school for the Jock family and friends before the big game on Friday. Meanwhile, Michael helped the illiterate friends of the Jock family read the invitations to the party to see Rose's name and decides to crash the party to see her, but he doesn't even expect to find his true love. Who is this beautiful woman? If I've ever seen a pretty girl, this one is much prettier. I just want to give her a knuckle bump. A knuckle bump? What a symbol of love. How my love-filled knuckles would love to touch yours. Have you ever felt a connection such as ours? So why shouldn't we knuckle bump? So the two have a great time together at the party. Eventually, Juliet's best friend Donna talks to Michael and tells him that Jackie is a jock, and Jackie finds out that Michael's a nerd. Everybody leaves the party, and Michael follows Jackie to the gym. Oh, Jackie is the most beautiful girl in the world. Is she made of copper and tellurium? She is cute. Michael, Michael, where are you, Michael? Hi, Jackie. Uh, you should totally lose your name because if you were a jock, we could totally go to prom together. Take me to prom and I'll never be a nerd again. I'll never be Michael. Again. If you really love me, then pick me up from this gym at 7 on Friday and we will go to prom together. Really? I'll talk to your friend with my decision tomorrow. When should I send my best friend to talk to you? I like nine o'clock. That seems like 20 years from now till then. So Donna leaves to deliver the message around nine to Michael. Michael has gone to the principal's son, Max, to ask him to help get Michael and Jackie into the prom and notice. Max agrees, hoping it will stop the fight between the nerds and jocks. Later that day, as Michael is frolicking down the hallways, he comes across Tyrone. Now I'm going to fight Michael, that stupid geek. I'm not going to fight you, Tyrone. I didn't do anything wrong. You losers. Are you just going to stand here and talk or are you going to fight like men? We're fighting. Tyrone and Mark begin to fight. Michael steps in the middle of the fight and tries to stop. But Mark is punched and knocked out by, knocked out by Tyrone. Out of anger, Michael st knocks out Tyrone and puts him in a coma. The principal expels Michael from school. Jackie finds out about the expulsion and is devastated. OMG, dude. Tyrone is in a coma and Michael is suspended. Did Michael put Tyrone in a coma? Michael is suspended? I will have nobody for prom. Let's go to the gym, then I will find Michael for you. 
Donna goes on a hunt to find Michael, but Mr. Jacques has his own plans. I should not try to woo Jackie when she is terribly sad. Oh, Peter, you are a great athlete and a heck of a person. I will tell Jackie that she'll go to prom with you on Saturday. Oh, Jackie, the prom will be one you will not forget. Peter will be taking you. Uh, I will not be a very happy prom date. Here comes your father. Tell him that. Have you told her about Peter? Yeah, husband, but she doesn't want to do that. I'll tell you what, if you don't go to prom with him, then I'll kick you off the basketball team. So Jackie and Max devise a plan to get her out of going to prom with Peter. Max gives her a special potion that is made in the nerd science lab. Max tells her that he will send an email to Michael explaining what is going on. Michael will be there in the nurse's office when she awakens. Jackie drinks the potion and it works perfectly. She is put in the nurse's office and everyone thinks she is passed out and possibly dead. Peter can no longer go to the prom with her. The email never went through so Michael never knew of the plan. He thought Jackie was dead. He ran to the nurse's office and found Jackie dead. He took a half a bottle of the potion and was con he had concocted in science lab the day before and died. Jackie awakens to this scene. What is this? Michael took a po poison? Why would he do such a thing? He was much too young and too smart to die. I will now take the rest of the potion because a life without Michael is no life at all. Because of these tragic deaths, I think the Joss and Nerd should end all the constant fighting. Not only will this fighting stop, these two children will memorialize together, even though they came from two different groups. What a great idea, Mr. Nerd. Never was a story not so happy than the story of Michael and Jackie.